this is a study tip called SQ3R. S. Survey or skim. Skim. That means look over the chapter that you're going to read or the whole book. Just look at it, the pictures. Q. Question. Question all the headings. For instance, if the chapter says, This book is about the parables of Jesus. So, question what are parables? That's a good question. Question all the headings. R. Read. Read to answer my own end of chapter questions. So make some questions about what you're reading. What am I reading in this paragraph? This paragraph talks about biology. Hmm, what is biology? Answer your, your questions at the end of the chapter. R, recite. Use a poster. Hmm, recite. I have read about the parables of Jesus. I believe there are 46 parables. This book has 24 parables. Hmm. This book is a children's book. So it mentions 24 parables. Why are the others not mentioned? Are there 24 or are there 46 parables? These are questions you could ask yourself. Now, review are before the test. Now, this is interesting because you could review and learn information just for passing a test. However, if it's worth knowing this information, then you should remember it for a longer amount of time. And that's where the P memory course comes in because it helps you find strategies, mental exercises to remember information for a long time. Yes, you do have to review it. You have to review it in your mind. Back to the SQ3R. All right, so I did a poster on accounting, and in this one it says income statement, owner's equity. Another one says balance sheet and trial balance. All right, so we got some more tips here besides the SQ3R. Dr. Georgie. Lozanov, L-O-Z-A-N-O-V, mentions that Baroque music at 60 beats per minute helps you do 1,000 words per day in foreign languages. Hmm. It's music for the Mozart effect, volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4. I might have to look into that. But the P memory course is just so awesome. Easy ex easy easy essay. And we've got two pages on that. Alright, so talk to you later.